Today we'll continue with chapter 3 linear pair of linear equations in two variables. Here we have the words problem or the story problems. So first we read the question then try to see what we want and what we don't know we want we, and we don't know we can assume them x, x and y. Then after that we will translate them into the form of linear equation. And after that, we can solve them by those certain methods like substitution methods, elimination method, or cross-multiplication method. It's up to you, whatever method you want to use. Here we have sum of two numbers. So there are two numbers, sum min. When we plus them, we get 35. Then when we difference min, minus them, we get 13. So we have to find two numbers. So what to do? We take the first number to be x, the second number to be y. Then in the first part, if we plus them, that means x plus y, we get 35, which we can name as equation 1. Then let's imagine that x is greater than y. So if we minus x minus y, then it will be equal to 13. So now let us solve x and y. Both the coefficients are equal. We can take them directly, okay? 1 plus 1 minus, we can add. So here, same sign. 1 plus 1, 2. This one different sign, we can minus. This 2 also, we can plus. So x equal 48 divided by 2 equal 24. Then here, we have x plus y equal 35. So in place of x, 24. This is plus. Take the side, become minus. So y equal 11. So the first number is 24. The second number is 11. Then next, number 2, again we have two numbers, if we plus them we get 8, then the sum is 4, their difference. If we plus those two numbers, it will be equal to 4 times we minus them. We have to find the numbers. Uh, there are two numbers, so we take the first number to be x, the second number we take it to be y. So sum min, we have to plus. So that means x plus y, it is equal to 8. Then the second part, what they say, the sum. The sum of the number min, x plus y, we take x greater than y, equal is min, equal 4, we write 4, times min multiply, differences, we have to minus the number, x minus y. From here, we already have x plus y equal 8. So we replace here. Instead of x plus y, we can write 8. This is multiply. So this 4, we divide this side. So 8 divided by 4, we get 2. Okay? So now we have equation 1 and equation 2. We solve them simultaneously. Both the equations are same. So we can take them directly. Here we have 1 plus 1 minus. Then we add. So 1 plus 1 here, 2x. Then 1 plus 1 minus, we minus, we get 0. 8 plus 2, 10. So x is 10 divided by 2 equal to 5. Now we get the first number, find the second number. We can replace either in equation 2 or equation 1. In equation 1, we have x plus y, but x will already get 5. So 5 plus y equal 8. This is plus, take the side, become minus. So 8 minus 5 equal Three. So the first number is y, sorry 5, the second number is 3. Then next number 3, the sum of two numbers. Again, we have two numbers. So if we plus them, we get 1000 and difference between their square. So first we square them, then we minus them. Then we will get this much. So we have to find the numbers. We don't know the numbers. Let's take it as x and y. We take the first number to be x, the second number to be y. So they say the sum of 2. So we plus them. x plus y equal to 1000. Then what they say? The difference of their square. We square them separately, then we minus them. We take x to be greater than y. So if we don't get answer, that means here we have to exchange y greater than x. Okay. So we square them separately, then we minus them. Equal to this much. Here we can have the formula a square minus b square. So we can write a minus b into a plus b equal to 256000. 0, 0, 0. 
equation 1 we already have x plus y equal 1000 so that we can replace instead of x plus y we can write 1000 so we are left with x minus y this is in 2 if you take the side it will become divide so here we can cancel we get 256 equation 1 we have 1000 equation 2 1 plus 1 minus so take it together so plus y minus y we can cancel 1 plus 1 2x here we get 1000 256 x equal 1056 by 2 which is equal to 628 then we replace in equation 1 in place of x we write 628 then we exchange a position this is minus the side become plus this is plus bring the side become minus so if minus we get 322 so the first number is 628 the second number is 372 so if we minus them or we plus them we should get this one if we can mean the answer is correct if not then it is wrong but already check it's okay okay then number four the difference between two numbers is 26 and one number is three times the other find the num them here again we have two numbers we don't know both so what to do we take the first number to be x the second number we take it as y then let's try to translate so here also they say if we minus them we get 26 so let's take x greater than y then we will assume first x minus y equal 26 if we don't get answer then we have to exchange here okay then we cannot do anything leave it as equation one then the second part what they say one of the number so if take one of the number we take it as x is min equal 3 min 3 multiply the other that mean 3y okay those so we have to find the other one then here x we have 3y we can replace it in equation 1 so in place of x we can write 3y y let it remain y equal 26 3 minus 1 we have 2 so y equal 26 divided by 2 which is equal to 13 then we can replace in equation 1 or in equation 2 to get the value of y so sorry of x so x y equal 13 we replace in equation 2 so x equal 3 into 13 equal 39 so that means the first number is 39 the second number is 13 the next number 5 the sum of two number again it is 16 and the sum of reciprocal is 1 by 3 we have to find the numbers so again we have to find two numbers we take let the first number to be x the second number to be y if we plus them we get 16 so that mean x plus y equal 16 we cannot do anything we name it equation 1 then they say the sum of reciprocal reciprocal mean we reverse them x we reverse it it become 1 by x y we reverse it, it become 1 by y then when we plus it we get 1 by 3 okay those so then we already have from the beginning here we have fraction so let's find lcm so here we will have both are different so we can take them both x divide here we have y y into 1 y y divide here we get x x into 1 x so we cross multiply then from here we only have x plus y equal 16 so we replace here okay 3 into 16 then let's split x and y so if we separate y here x we can into here or if you put x here then bring y down we cannot do anything leave it as equation 2 then because equation 1 we already have equation 2 we already have re let replace equation 2 in equation 1 so in place of y we write 48 by x x let remain there we have fraction we can find lcm 1 and x lcm will be x 1 divide x x x into x x square then x divide x 1 1 into 48 it will be 48 so this one we cross multiply that side now we arrange it in order to solve properly so we arrange x square first this is plus bring the side become minus then 48 so here we have the form ax square 
minus bx plus c equals 0, which we can split middle term now. So 1 into 48, 48. We need to find two numbers. If multiply, we get 48. If plus, we get 16. So 48, we can divide by 4. 4 into 12. So 12 plus 4, we get 16. So the two required number are 12 and 4. So there, instead of 16, we can write 12 plus 4. We multiply inside. Minus 2 plus minus 12x minus 2 plus minus 4x. Then here, only x common, take common. Inside are left x minus 12. Then this minus, we take common 4. Then here, x minus 12. So these two, they are same. You can take 1. Then the other, x minus 4. This is minus, take that side, become plus. This is minus, take that side, become plus. So the first value is 4, second is 12. Or if we replace in equation 1, we'll get just the opposite. If the first number is 12, then the second number will be 4.